Today, we're going to talk about V-belt tensioning and how to use the Frequency Finder tool. Always be sure to wear appropriate PPE, personal protective equipment, for the job. Please always follow the standard safety practices established by your employer. Proper tension is one of the most important factors necessary for long, satisfactory operation of V-belt drives. Too little tension will result in slippage, causing rapid belt and shiv wear as well as loss of productivity. Too much tension results in excessive stress on the belt, bearings, and shaft. The frequency finder precisely measures the static tension of synchronous, V-belts, and V-ribbed belts. It consists of a handheld, laser-operated sensor that is connected to the gauge body containing a microprocessor that converts the signal from the sensor to a reading of belt vibration frequency in hertz on an LCD display. The frequency finder works on the principle of forced vibration. The frequency of vibration is directly related to the tension of the belt. When the free span of the belt is tapped, it will vibrate at a frequency known as its natural frequency. The frequency is a function of the static belt tension, the belt mass, and the length of the free belt span according to this formula. A reliable and practical method of determining the recommended frequency range for a drive is to use the Drive Engineer web app. The app works on desktops, iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. It calculates the required minimum and maximum static belt tension levels and the corresponding frequency levels for a specific set of drive parameters. Drive Engineer can be accessed at www.driveengineer.com. Now, let's go through the procedure for using the frequency finder. Switch on the unit by pressing the on-off button located on the keypad. The laser light will now be visible. Hold the probe about half an inch above the free belt span with the laser light directed at the belt. Tap the belt so that it begins to vibrate. On drives with long belt spans or low tension, tap the belt lightly and take the reading near one of the pulleys. Successful measurement is acknowledged by an audible beep. The vibration frequency is displayed in hertz on the LCD screen. Compare this reading to the desired frequency range for the drive. If the reading is below the desired range, then tighten the belt. If the reading is above the range, the belt is too tight. Adjust as necessary and recheck the frequency until it's in the proper range. Be aware that bright lights could affect frequency readings. This situation can easily be resolved by shading the belt from the light source. One last tip. When installing new V-belts, check the tension on the drive after 24 hours of operation. Belts relax after seating fully into the shivs. Checking them after 24 hours can often expose installation issues that were not obvious after they were first installed. If you have any questions, please contact your sales representative or your authorized Timken Belts distributor.